11 states and the FCT down and 25 more states to go. The wait continues as results trickle in after Nigerians decide who will be the numero uno for the next four years. That's right. Hello and welcome. It's another edition of Poll Stream. This is where we bring to you election-related social media topics and trends as part of our dedicated election coverage program, The Verdict. Of course, as you know, um, the INEC Coalition Center is about to open. They said they will open at 10 o'clock, but we'll be also keeping tabs on that for you just so you get more of those re results as they come in. But you can be part of the conversation by using Pollstream. And of course, that's the hashtag, as well as the verdicts, as well as 2019 elections on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You can also follow channels, television on all our social media platforms. Watch every highlight on the go using your mobile device to watch our streaming platform uh, on YouTube as well. That's on youtube.com forward slash channels web. And of course, as you can see, um, we have um, those handles on the screen showing at Channels TV, at Olua Mayowa, as well as at Victor underscore um, MBIDI. But as always, uh, there are many reactions coming from you. And as always, we are delighted to collate those um, reactions as well as share them with our viewers around the world. So it's that time we deliver as we have always done. Definitely. We begin with some tweets, okay? People have been sending us tweets. Yeah. We have some screen grabs from the internet. Of course. Um, there's one I saw about uh, one a guy keeping vigil, you know, but I think it's Humble Smith, the singer, who said, you know, he's, he's here, like, we're, we're in this together. There's also one of uh, an interpreter the guy at the collision, collision center, center in Abuja, yeah. um, someone did put out a tweet about this guy is really working hard. So many interesting reactions that we have on the internet. Of course, we also have people reacting to the... the adjournment. Yes. Interesting, interesting tweets. Um, let's take a look at some of those screen grabs that we have. Some of them have been coming up, actually. Uh, okay, that's Steve Harvey. Someone is... Uh, said, I'm out tired of the yeah. adjournment every time. Are we in court? Well, that's uh, kind of a reflection of the court or the legal court system. Court we have, yeah, No, we're not court in court. Yeah. We've decided and we're waiting to get the result exactly, like, of that know, decision. Just, people just want to get, get it over with and you know, move on to what's uh, going to come up next. I mean, let them know who will lead them for the next four years. Definitely. Now, let's check out some tweets that you have sent. Uh, to social media about this entire process. There's one about from Okwayemi who said, adjourn and reconvene. These two words are starting to annoy me. Uh, perhaps. I mean, he's had those two words, you know, a lot. quite a couple of times. In, in the, the past, past few... Exactly. Two, three days? Yeah. So, I mean, you can... <laughs> well, the next one is from Cyber Darlington at His Boy 44 It says, INEC will use one week to conclude this election results. We hope not. Exactly. We hope not. Honestly. We hope it doesn't take a week. Another one is from Osikomaya Tobi Loba, who said, using four years to collate results, results. were well, an exaggeration there. Exactly. Nigeria has been deciding for how many days now? Uh, Ainek, we're tired of deciding. Well, the thing is, I think, I mean, the, the, deci the decision has been made. Has already. been made. Yeah. So we're it's only just the outcome for that decision. To get the result. Yeah. Well, the next one is from Farouk Shagari. He says, this is really becoming extremely annoying. This only gives room for malpractice and potential security challenges. Well, his opinion, actually. Definitely. I mean, it all boils down to people being tired of waiting. Yeah. I don't think Nigerians are really good at waiting. Yeah, so because waiting. It, it, the thing is, you know, Senegal also had an election. If you just saw the, the Around the World in Five, you know, uh, from Joyce there in London, um, there was a track from the Senegalese election, and I mean, it's done and over with. So, I mean, when you, when you begin to wonder if Senegal can get it right in, over in less than 24 hours or thereabout, you know, why is ours why, taking... Why, yeah, why is it different? Why is it... Well, you, you must appreciate the differences. We're not exactly. Senegal. This is Nigeria. Nigeria. We bigger, have bigger number, numbers. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the terrain is different. Indeed. So, I mean, hopefully we'll get there soon. Exactly, soon. 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 Well, there are more trends, uh, of course, um, on the social media, apart from people waiting for the collision of the results to be um, over with. Uh, this one, this time around, is talking about you know, the figures that have been coming out from uh, some parts of the country. And the hashtag that has been going with that is Nigeria election magic. Interesting. 
I mean, Absolutely. you have to give it up to Nigerians. They always find a way to make things interesting. They, may, they might be angry, they might be frustrated, mm. but they always find a way. To have fun, even, even in, in all times. that. Suffering, and let's not, let's not go there. Indeed. <laughs> they well, do find a way around their things. Well, from Akuna Chooks, and he says, the greatest miracle of the 21st century is how Borno and Yobe, the two states ravaged by war, recorded the highest voter turnout in Nigeria, apparently, he adds, it is safer to vote in Borno and Yobe than it is to live and work there. Well, you know, it's actually relative because it's the people who live there that came out in their numbers to vote. To vote. And then I have also been seeing um, counter tweets to that. People saying, you don't win elections on social media. Indeed. So these are people who the they may not have access to Twitter or they may not tweet, rather, mm -hmm. as much as you do. So if if you're always tweeting, if you're always uh, Instagramming, mm -hmm. and you don't actually come out to vote. Or maybe you come out, you just take selfies, and you don't, you know, put the thumb, thumb and on, you, or, on, or on the paper. Yeah. I mean, you can't blame people. Well, let's look at the next one. Um, it's from Muazzam3982630. That sounds like coordinates that's long... um, that the pilots and, uh, you know, Air Force people use. But he says, Bruno people, the South... Uh, thought you guys were extinct, LMAO. Yeah, so when, when the, this, this is a reaction to that first tweet. Mm -hmm. Keep, some people who probably have never been to the North, they don't leave there, they, they, they know what's on the news, but they just think they have their own perception of what it's like. But people who actually leave there telling you yeah. we're here, we're in our numbers, and when it's time to vote, we do come out. Well, I mean, just to... Um, hold on on the text um, tweets. Well, there's another one actually coming on. It says Nigeria election um, results. This one is from Ermac underscore Adson, ads online. So just imagine how long it's taken to announce results. We just have to upgrade voting. Online voting is better. Oh, I mean, of course, that's a Nigeria we, way we've of been saying that. We've been saying that a lot. We need to go digital with this entire process. Uh, we do have some funny videos as well. Indeed. I mean, there's always a lighter side to the whole process. Definitely. Let's take a look at some funny videos. Many parties in Nigeria we don't know. I've been hearing names of the chairman of INEC is calling names. I'm hearing, I'm hearing MMM. I'm hearing QQQ. I'm hearing OBO. What is happening? That is bygone. The one that made me to make this video that shocked me from, my, from inside my, my anus. These parties that are recording zero votes as in or oh, do votes as in oh vote please i don't understand where are your family members where's your brother where's your sister where's your father where's your mother let's not say you have been quarreling with them since you were born they didn't come out to support you you yourself that is contesting where are you when you go to how come there is zero votes in all the places there is zero votes where were you where's your wife now let's talk about that where's your wife Where's your wife? Okay, where's your wife? I will knock you. Where's your wife? Eh, eh, eh. They just call another party. They are, they are calling another party. Oh, Alex. Oh, Alex. Where they are selling moto? Yeah, hello, everyone. That's your boy, Akboro. They come here with too much swag and too much anointing. Yes, sir. Uh, this one are the message where I just need to pass. Because some people go say, eh, why you they talk, but you not vote now. Not be my fault, my brother. Not be my fault. We get it before. Before they shift them. And I tell you before, before I come over Nigeria, I say, I know if you can't stow my tall because of Nigeria the election. And now to high neck, this message now to you now. High neck chairman. I don't understand why now they delay election since or start today. All result now turn to Wala. See, eh? More just than the truth. Eh? Nigeria not the fear again. We Nigerians, we don't make up our mind. If we are win, enough he do us pass the way those do us for the last four years. If I think we win. If you not do well, the next four years will come out. So what did they do like saying that they get one person when they win and won't help? I was going to say, we don't ready. When I call it in, I won't call, I bet my mind dress. When I not just hold people for work more, they wait for waiting, I won't call. I say, now that one, they do us. What are they doing now? I'm going to sit in the alcohol now. Why are you talking now? Maybe she's working the person. The kind of numbers are the people. So how far the election result now? Me, I'm not feeling too strong. My head on the close there. This country, we cannot do election. It's a problem to do election. To see the result is a problem. 
you will tell them like three market days before they release resort. And the people coming to present the resort, old men who cannot see clearly, come here. Uh, one, oh, 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 sir, you need light. No, I need ruler. What are you ruling there, sir? Vice Chancellor. Confusing everybody, especially the young man who is doing sign language. That one, they have confused his head. He know even though it's in the room again. Before they finish the calling the result, we have entered 2023. Better. That is absolutely hilarious. I, I mean, at times, you know, you just wonder how people come up with all these things. But, I mean, in their own right, it's, it's what they do on a daily basis. La Cici Elenu. Akuro. Uh, we saw the thing at Imaya. Imaya and and the last lady, Kalabachik. Of course. Hilarious, um, hilarious. They, they always, I mean, like I said earlier on, you know, Nigerians always find a way to have fun even in difficult moments. All right, let's, um, uh, of course, like we said, um, uh, we've been waiting for INEC to continue with the coalition of results. Now we'll be taking you um, to Abuja, where INEC is ready to continue with the coalition of the results. Um, uh, thank you very much, of course, for being with us on Pole Stream. I'm Victor Mathias. All right, so we're, we're just getting feedback that we need to still take a few more tweets Indeed, before we uh, link up to that, INEC. We, don't want um, very long we do have a tweet from Linda, uh, who said disruptions or breaks as we had yesterday. So please uh, bear with us. We're also trying to arrange some light refreshments, coffee, water for those who may want. So just give us a few minutes, please. Thank you. Of all identified electoral offenders and diligent prosecution and prosecution to the lab, if we can start with this election, successfully would have averted with the coalition and the you know announcement of the results from states that are coming are trickling in at the moment, um, so they they're asking the Nigerians speed with them. They so kind of understand that you're waiting, you're anxious, you want to get those results, but they're saying you know please give us some more time. We'd we'll soon be ready, and we will continue with the process. I mean, all over the world. Nigerians are waiting. So you, how you even know that is from our YouTube page, our YouTube live stream. I mean, the numbers. Across our digital platforms, honestly, like, the app, the website, yeah. the YouTube channel. I said yesterday, I mean, we had like 50,000 people streaming on the YouTube um, channel. And I'm watching. sure now it, it would have increased. It would have increased by now. I am telling you, because the wait is still on. Definitely. Well, let's take a quick break now. Poll stream will be back. Thank you for staying with us on Poll Stream. Like we said earlier on before the break, um, the Independent National Electoral Commission is asking Nigerians to please give them some time, some minutes, before they are fully ready to commence the collation of results that are trickling in from other states. Just before the one and break, um, at around 1 to 2 a.m. earlier in the morning, the well, INEC chairman was like, oh, they will, be, they will be starting with plus two states and possibly the rest of the states will follow we'll, as we'll well. Follow. So yeah, hopefully that happens, but they're asking for more time, asking Nigerians to be a lot more patient with them as they wait to be, um, they wait for the results to come in and for them to get ready so that they can commence the um, announcement of this result. Well, while we wait, you can send your video reactions, tweets, comments to us on social media. Just make sure you use the hashtag poststream Hashtag the verdict, hashtag 2019 elections. Send all those uh, messages to us at Channel TV and, of course, at Olua Mayawa and at Victor underscore MBIDI. MBIDI. Indeed. Well, before the commencement of the elections, you know, there was this um, interest, uh, you know, by the international community. Oh, this has to be done. That has to be done. They had, there were just a lot of um, in interest as to, you know, especially the process, how will it go? Well, it has come and gone, and what have they been saying? Definitely, we need to know. In indeed. So to give us answers, we've been joined by a public policy analyst, Samuel Shegun, who joins us from South Africa by Skype. Hello, Shegun. Hi, I'm here. Thank you, you so much for joining us. We're doing fine. I mean, it's not often we get asked that question. 
true. Indeed. Say so maybe ECOWAS, AU, I mean, are they saying anything yet? Yeah, uh, the, 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 the lead observer's uh, commissioner, um, Ellen Johnson Self, uh, actually gave, gave a, a preliminary declaration, which was like a six page document uh, talking about um, how ECOWAS deployed uh, a number of observers, it was about 200 observers and, and 30 long term observers and 70, uh, 170 short term observers through the election process. So they, they went through the pre election engagement uh, with uh, the electoral campaigns and how we were able to engage the media, the preparation for the polls, the election day observation, the opening of the polls, the voting process, and the closing of the polls. And with, with that, uh, the, the international community has. I said that it was, it was a fairly good outing. Uh, nevertheless, they, they, they actually raised some, some of the challenges which local observers also have raised that has to do with the, the problems with the card readers, uh, the, the, the problems with the violence, which I mentioned earlier, and also uh, uh, quite a number of issues that they also raised as to the coordination of the process and logistics. And also ECOWAS has expressed clearly that they are not really interested in the, the results, just hope that the coalition process uh, goes up. Um, go on, you know, smoothly. And more, more so, I think the other international observers have also complained that, uh, you know, uh, the media was a bit biased, likely because they were, you know, also owned by, or they are owned by uh, some influential politicians. And, and I think this is a major concern. Uh, all right, Samuel, all these issues have been identified. Um, the, and, and I think on, on, on a large scale, people say INEC has tried. Yeah. You know, they say it's largely peaceful, although they do identify that there are technical pockets, issues, yeah. pockets of violence here and there, um, but the, the issues cannot be ignored as Not much as all. they've gotten a, an overall good mark on, on the election so far. What would you say should be done now? You know, what should we do? Because the world is looking to Nigeria. Um, even the whole of Africa is looking to Nigeria. So well, what do we do now? What should we be doing now? I think there are a couple of things that uh, come to mind. Uh, I, I, took, I took some time to write down a short note of a few lessons we can learn. And one is that there has been a continuous talk of us having an electoral reform. I think it is time for Nigerians to, to bring that um, uh, to the top of We need to have an electoral reform. We need to talk about how to... Uh, and, and this follows, which I'm sure you've seen in most of the tweets and uh, that you've been reading now, a need to digitize the process. We, can, we can't... And then, you know, having to travel down to Abuja to the National Coalition Center before we read it out, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a problem. And also, one of the things that we, we have seen over time is that uh, there's been a proper engagement with the city of Missouri. Uh, you, could, you could see this um, with how um, Situation Room, Enough is Enough, and other social media platforms, uh, or other civil society organizations have used social media to, um, to educate Nigerians and to engage Nigerians, especially Nigerians in diaspora. And I can, I can give you a uh, first-hand uh, uh, first uh, information that Nigerians who are in diaspora are actually plugged into and following up um, assiduously to know what's going on in the country at this time. And, and there's a need... There's a need to engage Nigerians in diaspora. Uh, I'm sure part of what would reflect in the electoral reform bills, which would be put out anytime soon by um, active Nigerians, is the need to engage the Nigerians in diaspora. I mean, it, Nigerians in diaspora are close to about 15 uh, million. I, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure you would have loved to vote yourself. Yes, of course, I would have loved to vote. I mean, disenfranchising close to 15 million plus Nigerians in diaspora, I mean, it's a recorded. Um, uh, Nigerians in diaspora, over 15 million. It, it's a problem. You can't stop us from voting if you say uh, our remittance was close to 25 but INEC, billion. INEC, dollars, if I may come in here, INEC has actually, you know, they've, they've spoken about this and there are plans it's, it's to do the, it. We're just waiting for, uh, for, for the legal system and, and the laws of and the land of to, to accommodate that. that. But hopefully um, it will be done sooner than right, later. Than later. Well, we have to say thank you for joining us um, on the program. Our public policy analyst, Samuel Shagun, who joined us from South Africa, of course, via Skype. Thanks for your thoughts today. Well, I mean, the elections, they have come, you know, they have and gone, they you know. Some people already know their fates and others are actually kind of waiting, you know, they're still waiting. Um, of course, like we said, INEC is still you know, in the process of um, doing that. But some say that the work doesn't end here, and they say this exercise um, is just the beginning. It's more or less the beginning of the marathon.
Definitely. There's still more work to be done. I know that you just might be talking about popular Nigerian musician and actor Banky W, mm. who had a message for his supporters after the outcome of his bid to represent a Tiosa federal constituency in the House of Representatives. Uh, this is his message. I hope we look back at what we accomplished in just three months and it shows us what we can do with the next four years. I hope we realize that winning some areas in Etiosa is proof that we can do this anywhere. I hope we know it's only failure when you stop trying and battles are only lost when you stop fighting. The real MDP logo is a ladder. I hope we are not yet tired of climbing. I hope we remember what we said all along, that no matter the outcome, election day was never our finish line. It was only our starting point. I hope we made our generation proud. We were greatly outnumbered, but we stood out in the crowd. The movement must now begin where the campaign ends. This was never a three-month race. This is a lifelong commitment. May our efforts be rewarded, our names remembered, and may history be kind. May we still fix Nigeria, one community at a time. I hope you join us. MDP, stronger together. Well, there you go. It's not the end, you know, of the race. It's I mean, the beginning. It's, it's just the beginning. Quite inspiring. Absolutely inspiring. But then, on that note, we wrap it up on the program today. Thank you so very much for being a part of the show. Don't forget to send your comments to us, your video reactions. We would love to hear from you. I'm Ogundele. And I'm Victor Mathias. Thank you.